Hello and welcome to this Nick RP Green speedrun tutorial for Metal Gear Solid Any% Percent PC. In this video we'll be exploring the cell, the infamous vent glitch, and step counting. Before we do get started, I'm Nick RP Green, a streamer, video maker, and speedrunner. I stream speedruns of this and other games at twitch.tv forward slash Nick RP Green every Tuesday and Thursday, so if you enjoy this guide, consider checking out the stream. With that, let's get started. This is the point in the run where we cement the any% percent classification by massively deviating from the standard flow of the game with the biggest skip of the run. After running around this corner, you'll reach a ladder which normally you'd climb to go and rescue the DARPA chief and continue an all bosses speed run. But for any% percent, we instead use the vent on the right to clip out of bounds We're using what's called the vent glitch, run around the outside of the level and to the wrong side of the door to the medi room. A brief load, and we've immediately skipped to where Snake has been captured. Just like that, we've skipped like 20 minutes of the run. To perform the vent glitch, you need to crawl backwards into the vent until the edge of the vent is past Snake's knees. The positioning is actually quite generous, you have a fair bit of leeway in either direction, but not far enough in and Snake will just stand in front of the vent whilst too far in, and of course Snake will go into intrusion view. Once you're in the correct position, you want to go into first person view, triangle by default, and look up. Then, you're going to let go of triangle and up at the same time, and then instantly press the crawl button, X by default. Snake will stand as the camera looks down and shifts away from the first person view, giving him a brief window to clip through the wall and stand on top of the vent. Just to be clear, you're not pressing X at the same time you let go of triangle and up, but immediately afterwards, I mean immediately, like the split second afterwards. The window for success here is very tight, but it becomes very easy once you've practiced and you get the hang of it. From here, you're trapped out of bounds. Once the vent glitch is performed, it can't be reversed as you have no way of getting back into the vent. So, using the radar as a guide, you run down, left, and up left towards the door to the medi room. Any door in the game that loads you into a new room has a small trigger area behind it, and it's the act of Snake moving into that trigger area that causes the room movement, not the act of Snake going through the door. Of course, normally both of these things happen, you run through the door to then get into the trigger area. As we're behind the door, we can step into the trigger area from behind. The game acknowledges we've entered the medi room for the first time, which normally occurs Looks after like Snake's first round of torture, and so the game plays the cutscene for Snake being locked in the room and dumps Snake in there as well, which we'll pick up from in the next tutorial. Once you've mastered being able to perform the vent glitch well, you'll then want to focus on performing it efficiently. To start, when you exit the lift, flutter step to the right as it's marginally faster than a diagonal run. Turn the corner to line yourself up just above this line on the floor. This puts you in line with the vent. Rather than lean up against the wall and slowly back into the vent, you instead want to lie down on the floor and spin to position yourself without needing to crawl. To do this, run to the right until you pass this line. Go prone, tap up, tap left, and you'll see that Snake is now perfectly positioned with his knees hitting the edge of the vent without having to do any crawling. As I said before, the positioning to perform the vent glitch is fairly generous, so you have plenty of leeway when performing this spin. Make sure you tap up and then tap left, not both at the same time. Spinning on the ground accurately is tricky and will take a lot of practice, but once you can do it well, there are a couple more places later in the run where it becomes handy. Once you perform the vent glitch, make sure you hug the wall as you run around it. There's no need to run any further south than necessary. When you turn the second corner, flutter step up and left until you're well past the door corner as there is a slight barrier below the room movement trigger that juts out for the wall, which can catch you out if you're not careful. Then simply move right and through the door. Let's see the whole thing one more time.
Efficiently running the room in this way will save a decent few seconds. If you're running this on hard or extreme, you won't have the radar to guide you whilst you're out of bounds. You therefore have two options. The slower, but easier option is to double tap triangle to activate the PC version's FPS mode. From here, run around as normal using this view to guide you. Activating the view takes a moment and it can be quite awkward turning, especially when you get to the door. The quicker method is to learn the step count, which means you'll need to know how to step count first, something which is very simple and will be required later in the run, even on easy and normal. Step counting is simply counting each pair of steps that Snake makes when running in a straight line by the sound he makes on the floor. We count in pairs because Snake runs too quickly to count each individual step well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You see, that's just too fast. So instead, we count every other step. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As long as you're running in a straight line, Snake always runs at a constant speed. So running from one side of the room, one, two, three, four, five, will be the same step count going back the other way. For the cell, once you perform the vent glitch, the step count is two down, six left, three up left, seven up, and then just go right until you hit the trigger. Performed quickly, it looks like this. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right. Step counting is quicker and less messy than going into first person. There are two uses for it on easy and normal as it's performed in rooms where the radar is jammed. Whilst on hard and extreme, there are a further two uses as well as here in the cell. I would highly recommend learning to step count as it's really not that difficult and so much better than using the first person mode. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out twitch.tv forward slash nickrpgreen for live speedruns and tutorials. Click on next tutorial to move on to the Mediroom guide.